Hello every YouTube buddy. Well, today I finally replaced my GeForce GTX 285 graphics card with this new GTX 570 super clocked card. Uh, I did that in anticipation of Rage, which is released um, this Tuesday, uh, October the 2nd, I believe, or no, the 4th, and also in anticipation for Skyrim, which launches on 11-11-2011. I just finished uh, installing it and before I did I actually did some benchmarking so um, we're going to take a look at three different benchmarks for the um, the two graphics cards I wanted to benchmark the old one just to see how much better uh, it performs and to, for benchmarking I used what's called heaven that uses the un engine or un engine whatever the hell uh, and this is what you're seeing right now the old uh, 285 card and one of the most important features of the 500 series is the tessellation and of course in the 285 you get no tessellation whatsoever and coming up is a perfect example of where tessellation would really improve the image take a look at that rope it looks very bland and there's more ropes coming up see it looks like a bunch of cylinders with the texture painted on it they don't really look uh, all that convincing um, but tessellation would take care of that it would actually add um, extra polygons and uh, like a whole new dimension to all of these surfaces and you'll see it coming up in a bit because we'll do the same um, we'll do these same scenes with tessellation on in the new card okay so here's the performance of my old card using that um, those scenes I got 24 about 25 um, frames per second out of that okay so here's my new GTX 570 card uh, super clocked by the way and it's factory super clocked I didn't super clock it uh, and this is actually with no tessellation so if you um, and the reason I did that is just to kind of see what kind of frames per second I get out of it see so it's significantly better 42 frames a second um, so you know it's at least a 50% improvement and now we finally see tessellation so take a look at the um, rocks on the ground first there see there's actually dimension to those rocks now like each individual rock um, is sort of its own model now and by the way right here there you can see the ropes the tessellation on the ropes that's what I mean uh, there's thousands of extra polygons that are rendered for each rope and it actually gives it a real model instead of just a cylinder with the texture painted on it and finally we'll see the performance of the card with tessellation it's 36 frames a second which is very good uh, with tessellation on a lot of games won't feature tessellation you know the developers actually have to program tessellation into the game um, and now what I'm doing here I'm showing you a model of a dragon without tessellation and then I'm actually going to use tessellation sliders and turn it on and then show you how it works so I'm clicking tessellation now and there see that's the dragon with tessellation the detail is just so much better I mean it's like night and day in fact we'll kind of wonder how we ever got along without tessellation and I can increase the scale and the magnitude of the tessellation I can increase the draw distance of the tessellation which I was doing now and yeah see that's the distance again um, and here's one more shot without and with tessellation uh, you can also see it on the the ground too each individual rock is its own model now and take a look at the roof now of that that's with tessellation and this is without tessellation see it's a world of difference <laughs> 